Hello, Tanse, bonjour, good morning everybody. I'm Dallas Arkan and here's another special edition of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. Well, it's not so pow wow today. I'm going to just do some hoop techniques. I have my practice hoops with me and this is a really great wor workout. Like it, it totally gives you like a full body workout because um, according to one of my apps that I have, uh, which is, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's called MyFitnessPal. I've, I've put in there before um, hoop dancing for 20 minutes, for example. And hoop dancing for 20, 20 minutes or so burns about 700 calories. That's just how intense hoop dancing is. Ask any hooper or hoop dancer, uh, any hula hooper. It is, it is a lot of work doing uh, hoops hoop dancing. So anyways, I got my practice hoops here. So I have a variety of different hoops. I have some hoops without tape. They're just colored. Uh, they were spray painted uh, once upon a time. So I have, uh, this is the bare, bare bones of a hoop. And then I have certain hoops that are, they just have like one layer of tape on them like this. This one's got a bandaid on it because it had a, bro a broken one there. Uh, but anyways, this is the basic Tape. This is how they look after lots of lots of usage, um, plenty of usage on my hoops. Because as many of you know or may not know, I am a professional hoop dancer. I'm a three-time world champion hoop dancer, and um, that's what I've been doing for many many years. Hoop dancing has um, created many opportunities for me. It has it has given me like a, 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 a really awesome life and career in performing. Um, and then the other style of hoop that I like to use is these weighted hoops. And the reason why I call them weighted hoops is because they, uh, they weigh like probably double what I normally would carry. So these hoops actually create a little bit more resistance. So you can strength train with these hoops and you can uh, do cardio with them. And since it's kind of hot in here, like I have the temperature set at 23 degrees, it's like doing hot yoga, but hot hoop dance yoga, I guess, in a, in a sense. So, uh, I'm going to do it with some different type of music this morning. I'm gonna separate my hoops because I like to kind of keep them organized and know, knowing which hoops are which. Uh, I like to keep the non-taped ones separate from the rest. And for those of you that are wondering, can you make hoops at home? Yes, you can. You can make them anywhere. You can, you can use, uh, uh, you can go to any hardware store and you can get this material called um, it's called PVC pipe and this is essentially what they look like when they're apart this is one of my example sample hoops so this hoop is is like that and uh, what you got here in the middle is you got a little wooden wooden dowel oh yeah um, by the way do you guys like my tree it's a real tree <laughs> I showed it yesterday uh, I just thought I'd change the scenery today for the class this is my real tree so what I got here is just basic five five hoops and um, it doesn't really matter how many hoops you dance with you can dance with a little little as uh, three hoops or as little as I don't know as little as I don't know three five you can do a routine with eight six you know there's a couple different routines so this past year at the World Championships, I tried something different. Uh, I tried, um, well, this past year anyway, I, I tried it with six hoops, my final routine. And I didn't, uh, I didn't get in the, the final round, but uh, that's, that's the point though, as an artist, I'm not always gonna stay on the safe side. I'm always gonna challenge myself and take on the next challenge. So anyways, here we go. Oops, I'll leave this one example hoop over here because I can't use it to dance and I'm not gonna tape it up because I like using it to show people, to show you folks how to do it. So anyways, I'm gonna start off with my weighted hoop. Let's see which one you can see better. This one or this one, probably the red one. Okay, so now I got some different style music because I don't only practice to just powwow. Um, I like practicing to different kind of music because it gives me different kinds of rhythms to to work with and to work against. So I got some Facebook music actually of all places. 
Facebook has this, uh, this music you can get online. So the first track, I just want to give the artist some, some credit here. Gregory, uh, Gregory Stutzer. And uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but it's electronic music. It's Awokudasya Siao Remix. I don't know, it's a weird name. So anyways, I'm going to start off with that song. So here we go. Get some beats going here. All right. So the first thing I like to do with the hoop is just, you know, a light stretch, very low impact, and just get in the groove, right? So you can get right spaced out with it. Oh yeah, these damn decorations are in my way again. I might hit something. So my house is fully decorated. So I usually start out with some spins. So the very basic spin is fairly easy. You can, you can follow the beat. The cool thing about hoop dancing is once you get the beat and your posture, I don't even have to spin this hoop, it just spins by itself. That's what I teach all my students. So I'm just doing a hop right now to the beat. Hop to the beat, hop to the beat, hop to the beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hop to the beat and switch. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hop to the beat, hop to the beat. And then if you want to get really technical with it, you could actually swing to the beat like, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, I'm going on two different rhythms there. So one rhythm, I'm just hopping with my feet. And then you hear that hi-hat? That That's what the hoop moves to. So like this. March, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch. <laughs> I like doing little tricks, little challenges. Oh, somebody sent me some stars. Thank you so much. Oh, geez, my shoelace is untied. They're very dangerous when hoop dancing. Make sure your laces are tied up. Okay. And you can do some simple swings with the hoop as well. So one of the exercises I like doing is this exercise like this. So all I'm doing is just swinging my hoop back and forth, dancing, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And that constant movement here, <coughs> You're uh, helping your heart rate go up. All right. That was a cool first song though. So you see the difference in rhythms? It's different than Pow Wow. Pow Wow is like, oh nice, we got some Latin. Got some Latin. So what I've learned about Latin music is since I'm a Pow Wow dancer, I always have the, the tendency to hop up and down like this. But Latin, you gotta keep your, you gotta keep your, your head balanced. It's almost like they don't dip. It's funny, <laughs> it's weird to me. So, I don't really follow those rules, but you can do something similar. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. So this move, this is why it's important when you have your hoops to measure them like this. So you can do stuff like this, spin, this is called a, a horizontal spin, like this. So I'm basically spinning back and forth like this. So with Spanish, there's a lot of twisting, right? A lot of twisting, a lot of, a lot of foot movement. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And a lot of smiling. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight, one, two, three,
Lots of showmanship. It's Espanol dancing, right? Bailando en Espanol. Muy bien. Arriba. <laughs> you guys didn't know I speak fluent Spanish, eh? Well, I don't speak fluent, but I speak a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, that's an intense workout. Like if you guys are following along, hoop dancing, it ain't no joke. All right. So now we have uh, some beautiful sounds. Now that we've warmed up, I got some beautiful sounds from Kevin Locke. If you guys get a chance to read his book, it's called Mending the Sacred Hoop. So Kevin Locke, he's a very famous flute player and a colleague, fellow hoop dancer of mine. I, I, I always look up to Kevin. He's like definitely a great mentor. Even though I've never met him in person, I've talked to him on the phone a few times and very genuine, authentic, down to earth person. So this is his flute music. So check out some of his flute music. He's an award winning flute player. And his music was on Facebook for usage, for free usage for content creators like myself. So definitely check out his music. So now that we've warmed up a little bit, I'm definitely sweating. So that's what you want to do before you stretch is to, is to get, get perspiration going in your body. Cause now my muscles are warmed up, but I also cheated a little bit earlier. Cause I, uh, I was actually doing some sets downstairs, pumping some iron. Uh, also, check out the social distance powwow, yo. Social distance powwow is going on this weekend. This is their beautiful jacket. I wear it with pride. And my beautiful girlfriend bought it for me. Nice surprise, thank you very much. Okay, hi, hi, honey. Love ya. Okay. So now we're just gonna do a few simple stretches. Remember to breathe. Breathe in deep, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice deep breaths. Okay, I'm gonna stretch out the upper back now, simply by locking your fingers together, and you try to pull them apart, but you don't actually pull them apart. Oh, such a good morning song to use. Oh yeah, that feels so good. It feels so good to hear that music as well in the soul. Thanks, Kevin. All right, so stretching out the tricep, shoulder muscle as well on this side. Get a little stretch going there. Okay, awesome. Now we're gonna stretch out the neck muscle. We'll do a few different neck stretches here. I do believe Kevin is a uh, Lakota from uh, Pine Ridge area. And this song is called Chane Kiape Tholowen. I don't know how to say that, but it's, it's a beautiful song. Awesome. That's what I like stretching to and working out to is the flute because it's like medicine for the soul. Music is the medicine for my soul, always. So anyway, he's gonna continue on with a few more stretches here. Gently put your hands behind your head. And this one, you just simply reach over and feel that stretch in your core, right down to your legs. Oh yeah. And I felt a little snap there, but don't be alarmed. That's just your bones realigning themselves. That's the beauty of what stretching does. It realigns your body 
stretches out all your core muscles. Your muscles are a network of muscles that are connected to one another. Oh, just like the sacred hoop of life. We're all connected. All right. All right, so I think that's the end of that song. So I'm uh, gonna continue stretching now a little bit. Got a little bit of a beat now. Actually, I got another cool thing to show you. is by this one's by Jumbo an artist called Jumbo that's funny we got a guy in the res his name's Jumbo <laughs> anyways as soon as I'm done this stretching I'm gonna do a little bit of a workout as well so this one want to stretch your ankle like how we did our wrist Just make sure to stretch out your ankle especially when you're dancing walking you can sprain your ankle really easily and it's not a good feeling man stretching out the calf muscle done this many times in the class, stretching out the calf, back and forth, all right, and then from here, this one, heel to the floor, toe up, reach for your toe, <laughs> and off to the other side, and one more, this one you want to grab your leg, hold on to something if you're not that strong, all right, definitely. Oh yeah, you guys, if you guys have Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram, 3X World Champion Hoop Dancer on uh, Instagram, or just look up Dallas Arcan, you can follow me there as well. Also check out my YouTube channel, that's building up really good. Okay, so now that we've got some, some tunes here, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna get my, okay, this is a elastic band sort of thing. It's a thermal band they call. So anyways, these are good for workout. So you can do it to the beat. One and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight and one, two, three, four. A lot funner when you do it to the beat, hey? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch. And two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So those are just a couple exercises. It's a lot funner when you exercise to music. That's why they play music in the gym, so you can just give her. A lot of people put on their ear pods or their headphones. Okay, we're gonna continue on now with a couple more exercises. All right, so a lot of times I like to spin. So this is jumping around, spinning. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So a lot of it is in the hand techniques that you do for hoop dancing. So what you all have to learn to do if you're playing around with a hoop is to be able to switch it like this. So I'm going to the beat right now. In order to switch it, you gotta be able to put your hand in there and keep it going like that. Two, three, four, and then change direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you learn that trick, then you should be able to go like this. Back and forth, switch. <laughs> but this is another trick that you're not seeing, is my thumb. <laughs> So, if you're watching this video, you're definitely getting the tips and tricks of what it takes to manipulate a hoop. And that gives you more
more mobility with the hoop to be able to jab and move around. This is good for the core too. I'm keeping my legs solid. He's called Joe Kai. He's a pretty good uh, rapper. So, anyways, I'm gonna add another hoop now. And the good thing about these weighted hoops is they help exercise the arms. So I'm gonna start off with some spins. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. the end of that one wow i'm already sweating up a good storm here so another move that i was doing uh recently to try and practice some new moves was in honor of my good friend nakota lawrence as you know my poor my uh you know my uh geez i feel bad but you know a lot of people are mourning over his sudden death but anyways he passed away this year and it was it was just shocking to hear that and you know I've seen him this past year at the world championships and now you know we're all gonna miss him because he was definitely uh, definitely a legendary hoop dancer three-time world champion like myself so anyways here's one of his moves it's called the floating hoop and he was very proud of this move, I remember his, him and his parents, they're like, did you see his floating hoop move? So anyways, it goes like this. You have to like throw it into a spin and catch it on your arm like this. I can't even do it right now. It's a lot easier to do it with one of these, uh, one of these smoother hoops. So anyways, you throw it like this and you let it spin. So throw it. 
and then you have to float it up over your head. So it's pretty cool. Float it. It's a cool move. So again, floating hoop. Yeah, that's hard to do. Yeah. And then here's some other cool moves that are good for uh, working out your arms. This is what I teach my students. Center, left, right. Center, left, center, right. Center, left, center, right. Center, left, center, right. Center, left, center, right. Center, left. Then eventually you're gonna get fast enough at that where you're just like. by the name of Chila Rivas. I believe she's South American. So this one's a cool song. So, <laughs> there's a couple of other techniques that I do. So this one's really good for exercising your, uh, your legs and your total body. When you jump through the hoop, you just go like this, you hold it like this, and jump through like this. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, got that hoop going. So I do a lot of loopy, infinite tricks when I do this. So here's the infinite loop that I'll show you. is jam so that's all it takes so it's just a jam I'm like pouring sweat here almost so yeah this one's called vices I want to try this one I'm gonna try this one I like trying different rhythms different beats it helps with your dancing so like this I started learning this new move here the other day 
and it's with four hoops. It, I don't know, it wasn't one of my moves, so that's why I didn't want to learn it. <laughs> but I started learning it, I was like, eh, might as well, you know, I got nothing to lose. So anyways, this is a uh, four hoop move that I, I just learned. And it's true what they say, you know, like, you learn something new every day and you never stop learning. So that's why I'm grateful to learn this move. I think I got it right now. Okay, there we go. So here's the move. Do it like this. It's a really cool move. This is, I learned how to switch it already. Learned how to switch it so you can actually switch hands on this move simply by if you copy the pattern, you just put your hand in there and you grab the hoops and you should be able to switch it. Switch arms. So, there, I successfully switched sides. It's really hard on the fingers, right? To grab those hoops, you have to have really strong hands. And if you don't, this will help strengthen your hands. So, for example, I could do a combo move like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like about practicing though with, with hoop dancing is like I could just go hard for a little bit and then take a break. Go hard for a little bit, take a break. So anyways, these are really slippery when they don't have tape on them. A couple other cool moves you can do with four hoops. You can do this one. This one's fairly easy. You just hold your hoops like this. dancers know this move like this one two three four remember what I said earlier about spinning the hoops once you figure out how to spin them all you gotta do is hold your arms out and let the hoop spin it's really cool so while I'm doing this I'm picking up a hoop with my feet because uh, you can't pick up hoops with your, just your feet so I got one in my feet now so what I'm gonna do here is combine this move this is one of my moves that evolved to another dancer's move, James Jones. He basically invented a move out of some of us who dancers moves, and that's really cool. things you can do with this you could actually put these hoops over your over your head like this and they're really good I don't have a lot of space so I throw that over 
and then throw these two hoops like this. Up. And then when I come back, booyah. There we go. See, we got that move now. about this move is that you can actually convert it over to another move which is a flower it's common hoop dance moves common hoop knowledge so there's that move represents the flower and you can flip it back and make it into a butterfly flap your butterfly wings Try this one at home unless you have something soft to fall on. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Switch directions. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. practice routines. Oh, my feet are still going. So another thing I like to practice is uh, spins, throws, and kicks. <laughs> All right. Here's another song. This one's by Jamaica Suck. I don't know who that is, but man, I'm like dripping sweat, but that's what hoop dance does for you. It's like a total body workout. So another thing I like to do is while I'm hopping around like this, you always want to be moving. It's called hoop dance, right? It's not called just hoop. If you're just sitting here going, doing tricks with hoop, that's what I always tell my students. If you're just sitting there doing tricks, then you're not a hoop dancer, right? You gotta dance to the beat. Even the hula hoopers do this. They dance to the beat. They make a beat to it, right? So even if, if it's just a little little dance beat, a little beat to it, then that's all it takes. All right on, thank you. I got some more stars, thank you so much. Thing about when you practice hoop dancing, 
because there's no right or wrong way to do it. You just gotta do it. You just gotta experiment. You just gotta know what you can do. So when I practice my spins, I practice everything. I even catch the hoop like that, and then hop through it, and then make a move out of it. Okay, walk in the legs. And then spin it again. So I practice both sides. So here's the right. I'll do back and forth like this. Kick it up, and then I'll use the left. Oops. <laughs> That's 10 push-ups. I dropped the hoop. <laughs> All right, here's the left. Here's the right. You can do it infinitely by doing this. A simple little hand tricks. Here's the right. Back up. I could do that trick. So I could do that to go into it. Just go up. Oh, you gotta line it up in the center. Go up. Try to get it centered. Go up and away. And then back up. See? There's your trick of the day. You guys learned that? You're awesome. So remember, throw it up with a spin. Oh, I hit the ceiling. Okay, throw it up. Ah, uh, without hitting the ceiling, damn it. Up. Ah, uh, I lost the spin. So throw it up. And you can spin it around your head. And back up. You know what's weird? For the life of me, I can't hula hoop. Hey, when I mention hoop dancer, people think that, oh, I do this. I can't even hula hoop, man. For one, my hoops are too small because they're made like this. Hula hoopers hoops are way bigger. They're like twice the size of these. And on top of that, I don't really feel comfortable with thrusting my pelvis like that, because that's really how you gotta do it. Somebody tried to teach me, I'm like, nah, -uh. no, no, uh, that's against my culture, man. <laughs> Indigenous culture ain't about pumping the air. <laughs> that's what it looks like when you're hula hooping. You have to like pump the air. It's like, ah, oh, I can't do that. It's like, ah, uh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that's pretty much it though, because I am spent, man. I am like super spent. Like, it's time to cool down now a little bit. I've been working out now for almost two hours, and wow, I'm just soaked in my own sweat. Strings are going everywhere in my coat, and yeah, just it's a really good workout though. If you want to learn more about hoop dancing definitely get a hoop and practice some of the moves i've been showing you it's only going to uh help your fitness level because way more it's like double the intensity of powwow dance aerobics you know like what, what we what i do every morning here with the class it's way more intense because you're using your all your body and all your control and focus and everything to to make that hoop spin to manipulate that hoop and spin it in different directions. It, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of brain power. It takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of physical power and mental power, you know, focusing it takes a lot of emotional power too because you're 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 connecting to the music and you're basically telling like a story with your body. When you connect, you're moving every part of your body, your chest your belly, your shoulders, 
your legs, everything. Everything just comes into motion, and that's what makes the hoop dance the hoop dance. You know, whether you're a hula hooper or a hoop dancer like myself, you know, ask any hoop dancer. You know, it's it ain't easy to do hoop dancing. That's why not a, not a lot of people do it, because it's, it basically has to be a passion. And what did I say inside of the PVC? Okay, for those of you that are curious about hoop dance and making PVC, this is called a wooden dowel, and you can get that at the hardware store as well. This tape, though, you won't find in the hardware store. This is a special tape. It's, uh, it's a special, they call it gaff tape, and you can get it at uh, most, uh, it, you kind of have to get it from a theater and production store. It's what they use for spiking on stages, and, it's, and it feels like a really clothy tape. Like, it's really clothy, and it's perfect. You can also order it, uh, most hoop suppliers have it. So if you Google uh, hoop supplies online, you don't even have to go to, uh, a hardware store you can get actually special special plastic ones where you're not using these thick because the uh, pex pipe is what they call i think they have a special uh hoop pipe that they use it's different than than all the rest yeah so anyways that's how you join them and this is how you measure them right here so you, your hoop should be able to fit there and the reason for that is so you can spin the hoop like this underneath your arm and that fits all the way around your body you can fit that hoop all the way around, you know, all the way around your body in many different ways. Boom, and it fits across your shoulders, just like that. So that's why you measure them that way for our style of hoop dancing now. For hula hooping, I definitely, uh, I don't know much about sizing for that. Uh, the weight's different, the sizes are different, and how they use the hoops is way different from what I use. And you know, even though we borrow techniques from each other, I will teach hula hoopers uh, different techniques that I use. And the one, the one hoop move that I learned off of them was when I was at Calgary Stampede Grandstand Show. There were some circus hoopers. They taught me this move. It's really cool. You just basically turn the hoop and turn your arm with it, and you have to roll. You have to be ever so graceful. It's like a floating hoop. You just roll it. And you can do it on both sides actually. Always, that's the good thing about hoop dance, is it's taught me to be strong on both sides of my body. You know how you have like one side stronger than the other in your body? Well, hoop dance has taught me to be like strong on both sides of my body and it's helped me with my spatial awareness. So it's helped me extend out like six to eight feet or so. And it, it definitely does help. Hoop dancing has, has taught me how to, how to like, throw on both sides. So because of hoop dancing, it's made me, what do you call it, ambidextrous, like where you're able to do things on both sides. So I'm able to do things on both sides, both ways. I'm able to spin the hoops like so. I'm able to just spin and multitask. That's the word, multitask. You should be able to multitask, you know? Boom, 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 boom. It's like that, so it's just, really awesome thing like there's certain things in hoop dance that I can only do on one side but I can do it on the other side but I just prefer to do it on one side or the other so yeah thanks for joining me for this special edition of of powwow dance aerobics even though we didn't do much powwow today it was just more of a hoop jam I didn't play any powwow music because I needed a break from it you know because I hear it like seven days a week all the time I've been doing this this is probably like probably my 200th or 250th class. I, I, I plan to have 365 classes a year, like basically a class every day, because working out should be every day. Because we eat every day, we consume calories every day, our body needs it, our heart needs it. We need to sweat out those toxins. And I'm on a new goal, a new fitness goal, like a new fitness challenge. I'm trying to get, trying to get my muscles more and more toned and trying to get that ideal beach body that I want to get. <laughs> By summer, I want to be ripped. I want to walk on the beach and just have no, no regrets. I want to walk with a smile on my face. And when people look at me, I want them to look and be like, wow, he's really, really in shape. <laughs> you know, that's all I want really is to look good and to feel good. And I already do, I already do feel good, but I want to just push myself a little bit more. 
So thanks for joining me along with this journey. And I definitely uh, encourage you to do this every day. Work out with me every morning. I, I definitely nominate each and every one of you to work out with me every day and take on these challenges because we are in a challenging time in a global pandemic. And all I can do is just encourage others to work out. And yeah, I, I encourage you guys to work out every day with me if you so choose to. I will be here on the weekdays. I'm, I'm on at 7.30 Mountain Time. It's always better to work out in the mornings. And then if you want to get double workout, you can work out with Michelle Reed in the evenings with Native Dance Fitness. And also, don't forget to check out the Social Distance Pow Wow. It's going on right now. They're going to do roll call soon. And definitely say some prayers for Whitney and his family. Whitney, the host, one of the main hosts of the Pow Wow, he caught COVID. So it's unfortunate. And then we got a little bit of a COVID scare here in my community. But the best thing you can do for these times is to stay healthy, stay regular, and just keep fit and have a lot of fun. Even if you're at home, just definitely take care of yourself. Because if you do get hit by the virus, you're prepared for it. Because success depends on prior preparation. And without such preparation, there's sure to be failure. So that's all I could say in regards to that. You know, and I don't don't want to discriminate anybody for catching the virus and passing it on. You know, we do our best to isolate and be safe, but it has it has been spreading around in our community. And all I can say to community members is just you know like just follow the uh, health regulations and the recommendations and isolate if you need to. Uh, social distance definitely. So if you guys want to check out this, uh, go to the social distance powwow. You can order one of these beautiful jackets. It's well designed. I love the print design in it and everything. It's kind of like how our outfits are, like pow dancing outfits. It's like so many layers. All right. <laughs> so bright. Anyways, that's my feather. I earned it. And this is my other tattoo. Thought I'd share that. Music is basically like the pulse. And for my three world championships. Oh yeah, did you guys ever see a world championship? What it looks like? I'll show you. We have beautiful trophies. I have a trophy case and everything. So, presenting my world championship. Oh look, I'll get the ring right on the middle there. <laughs> so, that's what a world championship plaque looks like. And I've got three of these. Well, actually, you know what, I have a really big trophy too. So anyways, this is my, I earned this. And it took me a lot of times, a lot of times messing up. Uh, I lost more times than I won. So it took me a long time though to get this. And it was a dream come true when I finally did. So if you got a dream, follow it. Follow your dream. And yeah, just don't look back. Just follow your dream and climb that mountain. So I just thought I would share that. I'll put this back where it belongs. All right. <sighs> so thanks again for joining me. I think I'm cooled down now. You guys have a beautiful, blessed day. And if you find this message of value, definitely hit the hit the like button on my page. Follow me on Instagram, 3X World Champion Hoop Dancer, meaning three-time world champ hoop dancer. Um, as well, you can subscribe to my YouTube page if you find it uh, a little bit more easier to, to navigate this on YouTube. I do have a YouTube page and I'm building the channel right now, putting all these classes on there as well for, for, for you guys to enjoy. And uh, yeah, so in the meantime and in between time, keep fit, have fun, have a beautiful, blessed day wherever you are. And we'll catch you later. Peace out.